Hello, Woodgate. Today is Friday, March 16th. I am Micah. And I am Bree. We are excited to be a part of your new news cruise. Please stand for the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. And now for a moment of silence. This week we are continuing our 15 days of caring by doing caring acts for our school. Talk to your homeroom teacher for ideas you could do something for our school. Now with this video to learn more about how kindness can affect your school environment. We need to make sure that we're being upstanders and we see those people saying bad things about themselves, we may have to step in to help them be kind. You have to treat others the way you want to be treated. If you, if you can't accept yourself, then how are you, how are you gonna be able to accept others? Well, the curriculum goes farther than just reading and writing and math and social studies and science. Um, it just goes so much further. Teaching compassion in projects like this just impacts the classroom because they want to give more in the classroom. They're kinder. It's a caring and loving environment that I think helps children learn. This is a safe place to make mistakes. I think it makes a, a perfect um, atmosphere for learning. A lot of the things that I'm doing in my class right now is teaching my students how to be kind to yourself and let go of the anxiety. And as I'm seeing that they're able to do that, their progress in the academic area is soaring. Your attendance is better, I think. The kids do better on a lot of their work when they're rewarded with kindness. I just think it's a win-win. It's a I feel like every year that we've done this, I the kids, ch they change, and it's incredible to see them from the beginning of the year. It really is a huge impact on their lives, and mine as well. It impacts me personally because it makes my classroom a more safe place to be, so it, it makes teaching more enjoyable. It's been very humbling. It's been a humbling experience because it's made me take more notice of myself and my own actions, not only here at the school, but when I'm out in the world. We've seen um, referrals diminish, and I think it's because in classrooms, teachers are dealing with some of those um, problems, like kids being mean to each other at a, at a classroom level. What bullying does, it makes them feel big and strong, and I can do anything, and you can. If we get together, we can kindness can be bigger than them, and they will join us, because then they'll feel big. Like many schools, our teachers have had some challenges in working together. And since we've had RAC in our building, our teachers have been able to work better together. Teaching RAC to our students, they have to model that behavior with each other. One of our challenges was different cliques of students um, not meshing well with other students. With the random acts of kindness lessons that are going on inside and outside of classrooms, it really has created a culture, a positive culture, that all, all of our students are members of one, one school and one community. We're three years in and, and we notice now that it's become um, part of our fabric. It's definitely ingrained in our culture now. I would say most importantly, we see a day-to-day -day culture of kindness in the way that kids um, stick up for others and the way that they stick up for what's right and it's been this um, shift in happiness. The most important thing at any school is its culture and students often need support to help create that positive culture within their school and RAC is a great resource to help you do that. Hi, I'm Ashton and I'm Noah. Remember to get your entry form for the poster art contest.
turn in your artwork and form to Mr. Miss Bernard and Mr. Meek by Tuesday. Origami Club will be meeting next Tuesday the 20th for a special trip, trip to Wesley Woods. If you are a club member, turn in your per permission slip by today. National Breakfast Week starts Monday. To encourage you to eat breakfast each morning, there will be a competition between homeroom classes. The homeroom class with the most students getting breakfast in the cafeteria next week will get a pizza delivered and ice cream. Tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day. Don't forget your green. Have, Have a, a fun, fun Friday, Woodgate!